what variable scope means, how it works. On the right side, you can see the developer org, which I have seen in the last video. And on if you ever wondered why your code sometimes acts weird when you declare variable, this video is for you. In Lightning Web Components, small differences between var, lat, and const can completely change how your app behaves. So let's clear it up once and for all. I'll explain what variable scope means, how it works, and which one you should use inside your LWC code. Scope simply means where a variable lives inside your code. If you declare a variable inside a function or block, it can only be accessed within that space. In LWC, understanding scope has helps prevents bugs especially when you are working with event handlers loops or conditions let's compare the three where is a function scope meaning it's available everywhere within the same function let and construct block scope meaning that they only exist inside curly braces let's go through a simple example where i'll demonstrate how where and let makes a huge difference when declaring and using variables on the right side you can see the developer org which i've seen in the last video and on the left side i have the vs code setup which also we have did it in last video and i'm using the same lwc component which we created in last video that's sample lwc here i have added a lightning card and some p tags inside that now let's go back to javascript and see here i have two variables declared main message and inner message so initially let's try with where and then we'll see how it is behaving and then we'll again try out the same thing with let and then we will differentiate what's happening here we can see first where is declared outside the if block and there is one more where inside the if. So the expected behavior is where has same scope across the function. The second message where replaces the first one. So when we are trying to access inner message and main message, we see high from inside block from the both messages since it is replacing the existing one. Let's see how it deploys. Okay. It has been successfully deployed. Let's refresh and see. There we go. We have printed the same message high from inside block and high from inside block. But if we change this where to let, it should be block specified. So first message will be printed as main message and the second message will be printed as inner message. Let's see if it works. There we go. So here we can see main message is the outside block which has its scope which is outside and the inner message has its own scope that's between the if this if block. So if we print an inner message inside this block you will see how from inside block and this is main message is getting printed from outside of the block which in return returns the outside block. Now let's talk about const. Const works like let in terms of scope but once you assign it a value it cannot be reassigned this is perfect when you want to declare something that never changes like configuration values or constants so let's see it in example how it const works let me quickly grab a small snippet let me comment out this part since we no longer need this okay now let me quickly grab the html code as well for this now let's go through what's happening over here so i have a const array which has been declared as apple and banana which contains fruits now i'm trying to modify that error by pushing mango so since i mentioned the const cannot be reassigned so here we are not reassigning this error if it's a const single let's say if we have a, a const as 90 you cannot change it since it is directly referring to the variable but if you are assigning it is referring to an array it const it always refer to the same array you cannot reassign this const to a different array but you can modify the array items which means like you can still modify objects or array declared with the const but you cannot replace the whole reference so that's logic comes behind this so if i try to do this and it reassign then i should be thrown an error that you cannot reassign a const but i can modify the existing so see let me import the track okay code has been successfully deployed and let's see it in the ui what direction so i have two fruits as of now apple and banana but i can add a fruit i was able to add it successfully when i try to reassign it should not be reassigned now let's see why this this matters in LWC. In Lightning Web Components, using let and const ensures your code is predictable and prevents scope leakage. For example, inside loops or event handlers, each iteration should use its own variable, something where doesn't do properly. Now let's see in example how where or let works inside for loops. Now let's go through the code, what's happening over here. So here I have two for loops, one is using where and the other one is using let. So here we can see how the output is being displayed 
like when you use lead and when you use wear. Since I have already mentioned, wear is common for all the things. So it will for all the loop. With wear, all the iterations share the same variable. With lead, each iteration has its own variable and that's why lead behaves exactly how we ex expect. Now let's deploy this and then see how it renders in the LWC. Alright, there we go. Now we got the proper input. Here we just have the simple card. Here we can see when we are using where output is always 3. For each iteration, I am printing the value. For each time, it, it always gives me the final iteration value. But for let, it's like it has its own uh, scope for each loop. Where has the same scope for all the loops. So now, let's summarize this. Where is old and function scope? Always avoid it. Let is block scope. Use it for logic that changes. Const is block scope but cannot be reassigned. Now, let's compare the three. Where is function scope means meaning redoing. So when in doubt, use let for changing changeable values and constants for constants. Now that you know how scope works, it's time for you to understand another key concept, the disk keyword. In next video, we will see how arrow functions make your code cleaner and fix common disk context problems in your LWC.